Goodbye, Gilbert. I'd write you every day, but you just eat the paper. <laughs> I know how you feel, kid. I made a few good friends myself this summer. David, Billy, Sean, Greg. Good thing I played hard to get. <laughs> okay, girls, attention, attention. Lights out in five minutes. It's very important to get plenty of sleep last night at camp. So we won't be tired tomorrow? So us counselors can party tonight. <laughs> All right. <whistles> Speed it up, you little twerpsicles. Better get back to your cabin, Blondie. Isn't it past your bedtime, too? You know, Kimmy, you could use a little beauty rest yourself. About a year should bring you up to a yuck. <laughs> Male counselor entering Chickadee Bunk. Hi, Steve. Hey. DJ, your husband's here. He's not my husband. Not yet. Ooh. Steve, it's the last night, and you promised to tell us that story about that maniac guy. Well, I don't know, guys. It's pretty scary. You should probably all go to the bathroom first. No, I'll tell it! Okay, all right, I'll tell it. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. Old man Cropsy looked out the window and saw a bulldozer bearing down in his cabin. Oh, no! He ran down to stop it! But his foot got caught in the broken floorboard! The thunder was so loud that nobody could hear Cropsy scream. Ah! <laughs> that bulldozer buried him alive under a pile of rubble and mud. You know what they built right where Cropsy's cabin was? <laughs> this so now, whenever it rains, out of the slimy sludge it comes, just looking for scared little campers. <laughs> half man, half mud. <laughs> the Cropsy Maniac! <laughs> Gee, I hope I didn't scare anybody. 